Hi, I'm Luke from Store Connect. How can you add products to your Store Connect store? Well, let's go through that. So here I have my Store Connect store, and as you can see, it's an absolute hive of activity. So I'd like to add a product to this. So I'm gonna go into the back end. All right, in the Store Connect app in Salesforce, go down to the Store Connect navigation, open it up, click products, and then set up products to come to this page. Now here we have options to add single products or multiple products if you have a whole table of them. But for this, I'm going to add a single product. So I'm going to create a product listing to sell my best mate, Steve. So let's do this. All right, set a product name. Next, you can choose a display name if that display name, which is what's shown on the web page, is different to the product name. Select this box to make it active on the store. Select this box to make the product a master product. This box is to be selected for every product unless the product is a variant. A variant would be a version of a product, such as a size of the product or a different color or some other variable. If it's a variant product, that's the only time when the master product box is not ticked. If this was a virtual product, which didn't require any physical shipping, then I can click that. Cost price here is the cost price to the organization. It is not the price that it is listed for sale as. So in most cases, unless you need this, you can leave this blank. There's many other information fields here that can be filled in if they apply to you, such as product codes, the title of the variants, the brand, product description. However, this is only recognized internally and will not be displayed on the web page. In the next section down here, you can add any other company or organizational references for the product, such as SKU codes, barcodes, this sort of a thing. Next, we have stock information for tracking inventory. To get the product live immediately, however, one setting here does need to be set, and that is the available on date, which will make it become available. So if I want this available right now, I just need to set this date to anything in the past. This will make it available immediately. Next, we have a complete shipping information section. So if this applies to you, you can fill this in. Next, if this is a bookable product, which requires scheduling, you can fill this in. This section is for any subscription-based products. Again, there's plenty here to be filled in, which I will cover in another video. In the page content section, here we can add a summary, which will be the live description of the Steve product that will be on the website. So I'll just chuck a description in here. And additionally, there is much more page content which can be filled out here if needed. Next, we have the SEO section, so you can fully fill this out for search engine optimization. If this product was a voucher, you can also use this section. Once done, click Save. All right, good. Now this has brought us to the Product tab. It's created this new tab up the top here with the product title, Steve. Now, in order to get your product up and working in the shortest possible time, you just need to pay attention to this section here. I love this because it keeps it real simple for me. So anything with a tick in the box here means it's active and it's ready. But if you've got boxes here which still have crosses in them, then these are steps that you need to take in order to make your product visible and sellable. If the eye here is green, it means it can be seen. If the shopping cart is green, it means it can be bought. Right now they're both red, so we're in trouble. The first thing it's telling us we need is an active price book entry, which is simply the price of it. So to do that, we go down here to where it says price books, and we're gonna add a standard price for this product. So here I've got the product listed, as well as the price book that this price will be entered into, and make sure that it is active. So here I'm just gonna chuck in a price form. If the price is on sale, you can also add a price here, and it will cross out the list price, and it will show the new price on the website. You also have the option to hide the price, and you can replace it with any word, such as price on application. There are even more options available further down if they apply to you. Then click Save. Okay, good, that's done. Let's go back to the product page. Now, if we click the little refresh button here, it's gonna update it, and boom, look at that. We're so much closer. Also, click the Sync Recent Price Changes button. Every 10 minutes, Salesforce synchronizes prices to your website. However, by pressing this button, it will make the synchronization happen immediately to save time. The last thing that's needed here is to link this product to a category. 
All products need to belong to a category. So let's just do that. If we scroll down here, where it says categories containing this product and click new, we have the product we select here. Then we choose a product category to put it into. So I'm just gonna chuck it into my products and services category, which I created earlier. Set a number in the position field if you would like to force this category to the top of the list. Otherwise, if you leave it blank, it will simply arrange product categories in alphabetical order. And make sure it is active and click save. Okay, good. Returning to the product page again. Let's refresh. And look at that, we've done everything. Okay, everything's ticked and the eye is green and the shopping cart is green. Great. All right, there's just one thing I've forgotten and that is adding a product photo of Steve. So look for the content heading tab here, click on that. Then under media upload, click on the click to upload button. All right, just put in a name for the media, choose the file type, image. Now there's two ways to add files. You can upload them from your local computer. You can also import them via direct URL link. So I've got a file of him on my computer, so I'm just gonna upload it here. And then click save. Wonderful. Now let's return to my store and let's refresh. And voila, Steve has shown up on my page. I can click on him now. And great, I've got my price there. I've got my short description. I can add him to the cart and buy him. And he's even got a photo. What luck. All right, so simple as that. That's how you add products to Store Connect. Subscribe for more videos.